My name is Jesse Moai, and thank you so much for joining me for just this brief time, just for us to be able to chat and challenge one another. And I want to take a few, a few minutes of your time just to talk to you about the chant of a coward. The chant of a coward. You know, in this world, there are three kinds of people, basically. There are those people who just hang around, watch life go by. They really don't participate. They don't really, really engage. They never put their hand to the plow. Then there are those ones who really have their hand on the plow and uh, who are willing to do what it takes to get to wherever it is that they want to go to. Then, of course, there are those ones who, most of the times, they know what to do. They watch things happening, but they choose to do nothing. They choose to be nothing. They do not want to speak out or they do not want to take the right course uh, of action even when they know what they need to do. In the Bible, Pilate, Pilate was such a guy. You remember Pilate? Pilate was this fellow who had power. I mean, this was a leader at that particular time in Israel, of course, under the Roman government. And Jesus was presented to him. Jesus was, was brought to him. But instead of Pilate doing the right thing, having examined Jesus Christ, having talked to Jesus Christ, asked him questions, he himself confessed and told the people, I find no charge. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this guy. I don't think he has done anything that is deserving of death. Unfortunately for Herod, instead of making the right decision, he chose instead to send Jesus to Herod. And Jesus goes to Herod, same thing, same turnout, and uh, he's brought back to Pilate. And instead of, and Pilate actually even reports to the people and says that even Herod, I have examined him, Herod has examined this man, and we find no fault in him. In fact, we find nothing. There's no charge that it warrants for us to crucify him or to kill him. But he will not do the right thing. He had the power to do the right thing. He had the authority to do the right thing, to set Jesus Christ free but he chose not to, but instead he chose to bow to the wishes of the hostile crowd who are already shouting, crucify him. Now, I don't know about you, my friend, but I have come across people like Pilate, people who know what needs to be done. They know they ought to say something about a particular situation. They know they ought to make a certain decision, but a lot of times are too intimidated to do the right thing. These are people who sometimes are people pleasers. They are men pleasers. They would rather go with a crowd. You know there are people who, and many times, uh, one of the marks of being a coward is when other people intimidate you so much that you know what to do, but instead you choose to please the people. You choose to play into the hands of the crowd. You will not say what you need to say. You will not lead in the direction that you need to lead. You will not be the person that you, God created you to be. Why? Because you're afraid of what people will say. You're afraid of what people will think about you. You're afraid of what they will say behind your back. Or you're afraid of losing friends. Or you're afraid of losing accomplices. You are afraid of maybe even losing a business contract. The truth is, you are dancing to the chant of a coward when you do that. See, God has given us not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. This world is run by people who are courageous. Life itself rewards people who are full of courage. People who can be able to stand up, if it means standing on their own, if it means standing to be counted when everybody else seems to be turning a different direction, those are the people that life rewards. God is looking for men and women, not men and women who will dance to the chant of a coward, but is looking for men and women that will dance to the music of heaven. Men and women who will be bold enough to say what needs to be said, to do what needs to be, to, be, to be done, and men and women who are ready to go where God sends them, to be everything that God desires them to be. The truth is, so many people die without ever realizing who they were meant to be. You know why? Because they spend their life 
dancing to the chant of a coward. They spend their life trying to be everybody else, trying to impress everybody else, and they miss out on what God meant them to be. As I conclude, I want to challenge you, and here is the reality of life. Being a man of boldness or a woman of courage will mean that you will have to be ready to lose some things. There are people you will have to lose. There are situations you have to get out of. There are places you cannot go anymore. There is a certain way of thinking that you cannot engage in. There are certain conversations you will not be able to engage in. Why? Because you have chosen the way of the bold, the way of the courageous, and you have chosen to go for your destiny because that's what God is calling you to. I challenge you, are you dancing to the, to the tune and to the chant of the coward? Or are you dancing to the tune of heaven? My prayer for you, wherever you are, wherever you're listening to me from, wherever you are, that God will give you the boldness to become everything he wants you to be. And he will give you his spirit so that you'll be able to do what he wants you to do and go wherever he wants you to go to. God bless you. Until next time. My name is Jesse Mwai and uh, I'm a pastor with Crisis Yansa Ministries in Nairobi, Kenya. And I just want to appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time.